just what I mean You too, T, keep it clean You see my boy, he like gotta made it Gotta made it Well, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven Right and graven See, Team Keep It Clean, today started off with really, really great news. And we talked about that in the previous video. But after that, it got even better. And I, I can show you better than I can tell you. Oh, face. Roll. It was ready to go. Real quick. I mean, just before we head out, I apologize. No, so take like, your time, bro. When we get there, too. So when we have time, we've been doing two fan events because we're trying to support local businesses when we're there and doing the fan events there. So like whether we were in Buffalo, they raised over $1,100. That's going to help the community. We packed out a place in Detroit with 40 people, which was amazing. They were there for 40 years. And so that's what we're trying to do here. Yeah, like, Baltimore, you're at Jimmy's. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we're bringing out like we're bringing out creators too, like in this space, like Engraven came out. He's a huge Ravens fan. So got him out there so he got to go on the tour and kind of experience it and like go through the locker and stuff because that's what it's about right like we're all fans of this game that we love and so like we're gonna be tom grassi man he just like it's crazy man for him to be willing to mention us on a segment his interview live in studio with pat mcafee former nfl punter pat mcafee uh on a youtube channel with 2.2 .2 million subscribers with over 34,000 people watching live and then of course plenty of people gonna catch the replay for tom grassi to be willing to mention our names that was so special man because he ain't had to do that but he did it and, and that's that's love i i just appreciate that so much man and that's real right there um so i i thank him again shout out to tom grassi uh i thank all of y'all because y'all, the way that y'all been supporting the channel for, for a very long time, even if you've been here for a short amount of time, it, any ounce of support that you've shown, I appreciate it a lot. I, I love you so much. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for turning notifications on, leaving likes on the videos, commenting, engaging with the channel just on a daily basis, every single day of the year. Off season, in season, y'all always a part of it. So I really, really appreciate y'all. Now, uh, let's get into the news on what's going on with the Baltimore Ravens in addition to what happened this morning. But before we get into it, let's have a word from our sponsor. It's June, baby. So you know what that means. New month, new goals. But what better way to get started than to get started? And Factor's here to help you do just that. Too busy with summer plans to cook, but you still want to make sure you're eating good? Factor helps you skip that trip to the grocery store. You won't have to worry about chopping, prepping, or even cleaning up while still getting both the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor meals are fresh, never frozen, and they are literally ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat, eat and you can get back in that summer sun and if you're looking at calorie conscious options to help improve that summer body factor has you covered with delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving where else are you gonna find that at factor makes life so easy because they offer options that help you stick to your goals and it's such a convenient go-to option for lunch or dinner because y'all know i work from home but even if you don't you can take it to work with you you can take it on the go it's too easy let me remind you just how easy it is to make a factor meal You see that? It's, it's so simple. So I know now you want to find out how you can order your own Factor, right? Of course you do. So head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code ENGRAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. We're just trying to help you get right, baby. So team, keep it clean. Today started off real special um, just with J.K. Dobbins being in the building. He is officially back amidst all the, the tweet controversy amidst Dalvin Cook being released and a lot of Ravens fans wanting them to get Dalvin Cook and whatnot. Um, but J.K. Dobbins is there. Um, and it's nice to have seen him there at the media day. And we look forward to seeing him at the mandatory OTAs, which start tomorrow. But Somebody else who is also expected to be back is Odell Beckham Jr. And, and, and I know, like, the expectation of Odell Beckham Jr. being back with the Ravens, that it's always something that we have expected when it was mandatory time. With voluntary, it was like, oh, we would hope that he was there, but if he's not, okay, no big deal. But we've been seeing Odell, like, literally, like, everywhere, everywhere but with the Ravens. But now, uh, we expect to see him tomorrow. But, again, that expectation was always in our mind, but to see a reporter report on that... That just, it made me feel that much better about it. Let's read the report from uh, Brian Wacker, who covers the Ravens for the Baltimore Sun. He said, Ravens mandatory minicamp starts tomorrow. Odell Beckham Jr. is expected to be in attendance for the first time 
this off season. And those were just <laughs> beautiful. I can't wait to see that number three jersey just on the field, catching passes and stuff, dancing, having a good time, just bringing the vibe, bringing the energy. But I'm looking forward to it. But he also said Tuesday and Wednesday, viewing begins at 1.30. Thursday at 10.15, Harbaugh and various players will talk at 12, 12.15 12 p.m. But great job. Shout out to Brian Wacker for just – that made me that much more excited uh, for Odell Beckham Jr., just to see Odell Beckham Jr. So that's going to be nice because, um, again, he hasn't been there yet. We haven't got to see him yet with his teammates yet. So this will be a beautiful thing. Now, he was with one of his teammates in Arizona like a month or two ago, that being Rashad Bateman, and they were with somebody else who would be nicer. He ended up being another Ravens teammate, too. Is he that DeAndre Hopkins? Just a segue to DeAndre Hopkins. Speaking of DeAndre Hopkins, on that same Pat McAfee show that Tom Grassi was on earlier today, Dan Ovlosky, he came through. He was on there. And he was going through. He talked about DeAndre Hopkins and his visit with the Tennessee Titans. He said he don't expect him to go there. I mean, that's the same thing we said. We don't expect him to go there. We just feel like he's going to Tennessee to really start trying to build up the interest in him. Uh, he also has the visit schedule with the Patriots. And, again, I think it's the same thing, him just trying to build up interest. I'm sure uh, by the time this Tennessee visit is over, and I think before, maybe before he even gets to the Patriots, maybe he'll have another team uh, scheduled for a visit. But we'll just wait and see. But Dan Ovlosky, uh he mentioned the Baltimore Ravens as one of the teams that he would expect – uh, that he felt like would be the best fit for DeAndre Hopkins. Uh, he mentioned the Ravens. He mentioned the Eagles. But one of the things he mentioned, because they were talking about the Titans, and it was like, oh, no, you don't have the greatest of quarterbacks there. You have an all right guy, Ryan Tannehill. He's solid. He's not bad at all. Um, but with DeAndre Hopkins, he really hasn't had got to play with an elite quarterback consistently. He, Dan Ovlosky mentioned how when he was playing with Deshaun Watson, that was at the time when people said, hey, DeAndre Hopkins, best receiver in the league. Coincidence? He playing with a good quarterback? He's best receiver in the league? I don't think it's a coincidence. But DeAndre Hopkins has shown no matter who he plays with, he's going to put up numbers. He's going to produce. He's going to get the job done. Um, but Dan Ovlosky mentioned, like, with the Ravens, they would be a good fit because, hey, you got Lamar Jackson. Now, we didn't get to hear everything that he said because I guess wherever he was at, it didn't have the best reception. But uh, we caught the tail end of it when he, talk, he was talking about him playing with Odell Beckham Jr. And, and he felt like with DeAndre Hopkins, yeah, he's, he done already made a lot of money. And, and he could still try to make significant more money. But at the same time, it's like, all right, you've been, you done been the best receiver in the league already. You done made a lot of money. Now, for DeAndre Hopkins, if, if he was in his shoes, Dan Ovlosky said that he would be trying to join a team that has serious uh, Super Bowl aspirations this year. And, and, and the Baltimore Ravens, they are just that. And, and y'all know how we feel about it. I do with the way that they've attacked wide receiver finally after all these years. I really do feel like they could be Super Bowl contenders, not just a competitive team like they are every year, but now true contenders. Uh, we still got to see how the offense does. And then the defense, I mean, just really the whole team does, how they mesh, how they gel and whatnot. But that was always, it's always nice to hear stuff about DeAndre Hopkins with the Ravens and stuff. It always just. Make, it warms my heart, man, just hearing that stuff. Then last, but certainly not least, something that I just didn't know about. I thought that he was more so on the road to retirement. I thought he was looking to call it quits real soon. But Kevin Zeitler, um, I did not know he was looking for a new deal. I thought he was just going to ride this deal out and be like, all right, y'all, I'm out. But apparently, he still wants to keep playing. But, see, the thing is with this, why it's great news not that he's looking for a new deal, hey, get your money. But at the same time, usually when players are looking for a new deal, especially older players, veteran players, players that have done been around, they'll hold out. They're like, I ain't going to camp. I ain't doing all that stuff. But let's read the report from Adam Schefter. He said, Ravens guard Kevin Zeitler, who was not present for, voluntary, for the voluntary portion of OTAs, will be a full participant in Baltimore's mandatory minicamp that begins Tuesday. Zeitler still is in search of a new contract, but he will report. So that's nice. He like, hey, I'm trying to get paid, but I ain't going to hold out. I'm going to still be there. And I wouldn't knock him if he did hold out. Because, hey, get your money. Get your bread, man. But shout out to him. And I, I think the Ravens are going to take care of him. They're probably going to rework his contract, give him some nice incentives and whatnot. Um, will they tack on a year to his deal? I, I think they'll definitely rework it, though. 
um, just so you can get a little more money this year. Uh, and again, the incentives, throw some incentives in there, some likely to reach incentives, maybe some not likely to be earned incentives. We'll see. But I, I do think they'll rework it because they like they, they, they like reworking contracts like that. If, if it's a guy, especially a veteran guy that I've been around and they want a new deal, but they ain't holding out. Now, I mean, sometimes you got to put that pressure on them depending on what your situation is. You got to hold out. You got to not show up to really make the Ravens take you seriously depending on who you are. Uh, but with Kevin Zeitler, I, I think they'll give it to him. Team Keep It Clean, hey, I wish I had even more great news for y'all, uh, but this was just a jam-packed episode with just so much great positive stuff when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens, just when it comes to everything. Um, but thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for checking it out. I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all so much. Y'all are the best and don't let nobody tell you any different. I love each and every one of you that watches. I appreciate each and every one of you that watches because it's something that you don't have to do, but y'all do it every single day. Todos los días, if I say it in Spanish, I don't know how to say it in any other languages, but I appreciate y'all. I love y'all and we are out.